Okay, in part one, what we did is we looked at what is an ethical question, and you either did a discussion board or a quiz on that, the set of questions I gave you to determine which ones were ethical, as opposed to legal and personal preference and so on. The second step then is to think about the process of ethical thinking. And if you ever take an ethics course, you'll get into different, much more in depth into specific types of ethical processes. We're not gonna do that. And what a group did, um, I'm blanking out where they're from, but what a group did is they sat down, and this was actually an ethics professor who had taught ethics for a long time, and then realized after a long time that his kids really weren't thinking ethically. They weren't going through a process of thinking. They weren't going through a process of thinking. So what he did is he sat down with him and some other people, and they came up with what they call the eight key questions to ethical thinking. That if you're looking at these questions, and you're trying to answer the questions based on the issue, that you are doing ethical thinking. So you're not going through a set, you know, a specific type of ethical thinking that you learn about in ethics class, but you are going through a process of ethical thinking. So they came up with these eight key questions, and these eight key questions are used at some universities throughout, from the administration all the way down to classroom. On anything that happens, they go through these eight key questions. Now, I just said go through eight, three key questions. In any question, ethical question you're going to go through, you don't need to go through all eight. That would be way too much work and not necessary. So for any question that comes up, what you have to first do is determine which of these key questions are most important to your ethical question. So it's probably gonna be more than one, but it's not gonna be all eight. It's usually going to be in the two to four question range. So the first, when you get an ethical question, the first thing you have to do in the process of ethical thinking, in this process we're going to use, is determine which of these questions is most important in your mind to coming up with a solution to that ethical issue. So by using these questions, it's going to send you into a process of thinking ethically. So the eight key questions, and yes, they overlap somewhat, and that's okay, but what we're trying to get you to do is just get an understanding of what these questions are looking at, and then determining which questions you think are most important to the issues that we're going to be discussing, the ethical issues we're gonna be discussing. And I'm actually gonna give you the first issue um, at the end of this video, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to Blackboard and you're going to do a discussion board if you're online, or we're gonna do a discussion in class about which of these questions you think are most important, and you'll be in groups. So there's fairness, how can I act equitably and balance legitimate interests? There's outcomes, what achieves the best short and long-term outcomes for me and all others? Responsibilities, what duties and or obligations apply? There's character, what action best reflects who I am and the person I want to become? Liberty, how do I respect or how does respect for freedom, personal autonomy, and consent apply? Empathy, what would I do if I care deeply about those involved? Authority, what do legitimate authorities, experts, lawyers, religion, God expect of me? And what rights, innate, legal, or social, are going to apply? So again, in whatever ethical question that you're dealing with, you don't have to look at all of these. So the first step is determining which of these questions you feel are the most important. And what you'll find, and what I found in my classes is, most groups are going to agree. There may be one or two questions they differ on, but the top two or three questions for each issue, usually most great groups agree on that, okay? So here's the issue I'm gonna give you. The issue I'm gonna give you is that there is a pandemic. And if you're Biology 100, you're actually going to play the game pandemic. But there is a pandemic, which means there is a disease that is spreading very quickly, and it's pretty much worldwide. So there's a disease, we're going to say a version of the flu, that is deadly, which means if you get the flu, that you're going to die from it. You've been put on a committee. You've been put on a committee, and you're going to be given 10 people. Okay, 10 different people that want the vaccine. You're only gonna be able to pick six of those people, six of the 10, which means the four people that don't get the vaccine most likely will get the disease 
and will die. So it's pretty much a life or death. So as you cannot see now, this is a perfect example of an ethical question. There is no right or wrong answer. So what I want you to do, either again, we'll do it as a group if you're in my regular class, or if you're online, I'm gonna put a discussion board up and you're gonna have a conversation with each other and you're gonna have a discussion, obviously on a discussion board, about which of these questions, before I give you the people, which of these questions do you think are most important to answering that ethical question of who should we give the vaccine to? Okay. Again, you're not gonna always agree, that's fine, but what we'll probably see is that as a group, you'll come together in, in the first two or three most important questions will probably be the same, okay? All right, so again, go back to Blackboard and find the discussion board. Again, if you're on my class and we're doing it as a group, we'll have a discussion as a class.